How's the camera? Good. Quick little side note. We're doing this whole DJI test because this is a new camera, but um, we're still regularly scheduled programming. So I want to test it to see how stable the gimbal is when I drive, how I drive, because that's very important. The car is filthy. The car is extremely filthy. However, I'm going to clean it up a little bit in the areas where I want to stick that bad boy and try to capture some nice stuff. So uh, stay tuned and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be back, we'll be back. Wax on, wax off. What's well, the only section I cleaned? <laughs> Buckle up. <laughs> I'm gonna keep mine down a little bit for the sound. M2, now winter tires, they're not the best. And I turned it down because I just put 93 in it. So the last drive I did was on 85, which was a little bit better because it was a little bit more responsive, but we work with what we have. Yeah, I'm kind of nervous now I think about it too. Yeah. Especially for this right turn, it's gonna come up. The brakes, the, the tires just can't hold. You feel that? The tires can't hold. Yeah. And the car's right there. It's almost kind of fun that the car slides. You feel it slide when we go around the corners? It's a little fun um, with the good tires on here, like the Pirellis or the Michelins. It really won't slide as much. You got to do like very scary things to get those to slide as they hook in. Yeah. So the winter's a little bit more rewarding because they slide easier. However, it feels more vague. Yeah. And, and that's what's scary because I, I could feel the breaking edge on the summers, but when they break, I'm going so fast that I'm scared because I'm in a small spot like this. Can you do me a favor? Can you grab that uh, $700 purchase that I just did off yeah. the thing? <laughs> Make sure you don't touch the gimbal. You good? All right. I got one more turn. I want you to. I want to take though. I know the house is the other way. Oh my bro. I, I can't get a break. Somebody's on all the roads. Could you, ooh, almost hit the curb. Could you believe that car costs like 70 grand with the uh, market adjustment price as a Toyota Corolla? That costs more than the uh, M2, the red BMW. Oh, you think it is? Jesus Christ. <laughs> and he ended his driveway too. I feel like I lost part of my car. <laughs> oh my God. Nice car though. And now we're stuck behind the Prius. It's so nice. Oh no, it's this. This is just hundred grand. That. And like, like, you gotta build on that. Like that's crazy. Yeah. I take my project down like ten times over. And you'd have to carve out the land to make it flat. Mm -hmm. That right there is already more expensive or time consuming than anything I got going on. <laughs> Digging and then plumbing and like these TV shows be lying to you. Oh, that's uh, that's up, uh, that's um, the, the other one, yeah. To be honest, I kind of prefer the way the GoPro is set up. This looks a little bit more, try to push it down a little bit. A little bit too close, plus I gotta <laughs> use one hand to hold this freaking thing. I'm gonna try it the wide angle. Let me test this buddy out. Let me see how the wide angle does. There it goes. Oh, wide angle's way better. Yeah, it's a lot nicer, the wide angle. 
Eh, it's freaking BMW brake squeak is it's crazy. I can't wait to see how it looks, especially when you throw a little color grading on there. I'm not a professional at the color grading nonsense, but um, yo, I've been doing a little bit and it's been coming out pretty good. I'll show you some clips that I already have that's color graded. And uh, once you go color grading, the rest of the stuff looks super duper plain. It's kind of weird. Uh, I'm gonna get up out of here, I have some errands to run. I just wanted to show you guys how it runs on the POV. And I'm super curious to do some roller shots. So I gotta get one of my guys out here. Uh, it's hard these days. <laughs> I think all my friends are like busy or something, doing something. Quality though, I'm gonna give it to the DJI. Smooth and fluid it is too. It's pretty cool, man. And it has this dope super button, look at that. I know I said I'm not really gonna do anything to this car. However, there is a boot mode board coming out soon. It's like a reflex board. However, um, it's fully integrated, made by boot mode. What's burbling up there? Uh, no, no, is it the truck? Is that the, is that the G-Wagon? That's an, oh, that G-Wagon. Oh, no, it's the Benz, that G-Wagon. Caps and rollers. Oh, that's that, that E550, that sounds like that. It's a little too much. That's like Benz with BMW level of annoying burbles. I don't know if that's coming over through the mic like it's coming over in my ears that shit sounds terrible i'm curious to see how much it is and i'm gonna try it out i've been against like three flags and like aoc controllers and I'm, they're proven they work you see fastest cars out there are running them i just want something a little bit more integrated the guy in the golf car wants to hit a little bit let me just go over and let him see if i can do it wanted to give a little hit Oh, my man's in it. I don't have enough room. And that's how people be crashing out with the low leaky tire. My tire got 21 PSI. I take a little oof, that shit go oof. Tire roll over on itself. I think people in New York get a bad rap for like everybody wanting to cut up and drive crazy through traffic. I'm gonna be real with you, yo. It, it, it be these, what you call them, the NPC drivers, the non-playable character drivers. It be these people that be messing up. Because it's like, you just got to go around these people sometimes. Especially when you're running late, it just makes you look like you're cutting up in traffic because you just want to get where you got to go. You, know? you ain't going fast enough in the left lane, go over to the right. But they don't do that. They stay in the left. And you got to go to the right. And then there's somebody in the right. And you got to go back to the left or consider going to the right. This is that little gap. You got to speed up and poof, cut across. And then boom, that's how everybody in New York becomes a cut upper. See, look, it kind of looked like I'm doing it because I just want to go get where I got to go. See? Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, see, that's so what was it, happening yeah, before. Yeah, because you kept moving it. That's why. Yeah. That's why I was doing it. Yeah. You're not supposed to move it. Well, I moved. I, I learned that. I, you moved, I moved, and then you moved out frame, just so then like it that. lost. No, but if I go like this, the same shit happens. Still reaching, I still see you though, so you just fucking wild shit. Stop, because you're moving your wrist too. Let me get behind you. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> This is the only camera that I could say legit I had 10 pounds. It feels good while you're vlogging though. Like it's not, it's not bad. This is my garage. <laughs> Wait, wasn't that what he did? It was. I guess he left. So freaked out. Dude, I'm not sure what's breathing heavy. Singing. <laughs> Singing. Yo, look, look at the thing. I know it's moving. <laughs> Woo! It can't find me. Can't see me. I'm John Cena. <laughs> it was tracking pretty good, though. Think it's tracking good? Yeah, I'm going to kick you. Stop. <laughs> <laughs>
I don't want to kick it. You make me nervous. Open the door. Get in. Why <laughs> <laughs> you have this window down? It's dirty as fuck. <laughs> I looked over and I was like, God damn. Yeah, it's it's dirty. It's where all the coke spilled. Mm. You know what kind of coke I'm talking about? Cocaine. Bricks. Anyways, um, this is driving. Oh, it's like the YD on there, bad baby. Uh, YD looks pretty good. Yeah. Man. I put the lens on. What's up? Nothing. Did you want to go somewhere else? Like a car wash? Mm, you're funny, not me. Okay. See, look, once people. So I forgot to show you guys what this thing actually looks like if you guys are not familiar with it. Just showing you guys my new nice little toy. Because I ain't buying no car parts recently. So it's a little cool DJI thing. This thing right here is super cool. I like this. This is the microphone. Uh, it captures some good uh, audio. Dead cat on there. It's supposed to be like a 32-bit flow too. So I've had to adjust the gain. Either it's loud outside or kind of quiet. I think it adjusts itself. Bunch of little different things though. All this stuff right here, extra battery pack. Not that special. I just wanted to show you guys this thing right here. That I'm going to be using for the vlogging. What do you guys think? Stabilize everything. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. I mean, stay tuned. I have a couple more things coming. But uh, for now, just wanted to show you guys my little nice little toy.